to the point that this aircraft uh, was uh, in Indian territory, which was absolutely wrong because they came back into the Pakistani territory. Nonetheless, Pakistanis wa wanted to, because Atlantic was a Pakistan Navy's uh, surveillance aircraft. It's an anti-ship, anti-submarine uh, aircraft. Satra or yeah. 21 soldiers, uh, uh, pilots or soldiers, uh, Shaheed were killed. In the year 2000, I'll give you an exact date, 12th November 2000. Mm -hmm. It was in Gujarat, ke paas, Ran or Kutch area, ke paas, Indian MI-8 Oda tha, usko shot down kar diya kisi na. Uske andar jo the, there was, I believe, only one survivor. And that survivor said later on that there was no technical uh, problem, but on the left side of the uh, helicopter, we I saw and heard a big blast. They were blaming the Pakistani side say you know, they, uh, way they fired another shoulder fired missile and they brought, brought it down. It has never been proven, but that is an assumption. It's a safe assumption. So what I'm trying to say, it has always been a tit for tat. And this is the type of attack that is on the tactical and local level, on the medium tactical level, on the strategic level. The target that is on the strategic level. They were trying to take a revenge as to what happened in the glacier. So this is a very dangerous thing. These are armed forces. They are watching one another. They are sitting on the border. They are afraid of one another. And they, uh, you know, they come up with these type of uh, missions, and they try to do it. But the fact of the matter is, ये जो पूरा operation वहाँ हुआ है लाहौर के अंदर, इसके अंदर मुझे तो पिछाने फीसद इत्माद है कि ये rock operation है, और अगर ये लोग बच जाते हैं, मिल जाते हैं, और ये confess कर जाते हैं, तो इसके ऊपर حکومت پاکستان کو they need to take some very very serious measures if they don't and a very strong stance and a very strong stance yes if they don't then you know the door is open the door is open for more of these type of operations in Pakistan probably there will be more you know something very serious might happen over there so yeah they need to take some steps and I would uh, recommend the government of Pakistan at this point that once it's proven that Roy was involved, one of the steps they can take is they can stop the usage of Pakistani airspace by any type of uh, aircraft registered in India. Say. So, okay, they, you know, they need to tell them that, you know, this needs to stop. He said the Indians, you know, they fly over their Illusion 76 cargo aircraft. They fly over from Amritsar and everywhere. They go to Afghanistan. Allah knows better than what they are going to take there. Thank you very much, Haris. Haris, it was very nice talking to you. I think that our Sameen and I have learned a lot from your experience. ان چیزوں کو سمجھنے کی کوشش کریں کہ یہ ہوتا کیا ہے تاکہ لوگ یہ پولٹیکل گپ شپ سے باہر نکلیں اور اس ریل ایسنس کو اور جو لوگوں کی قربانیاں ہیں اور جو ایک ملک کو فرسٹ آئین آف ڈیفنس سے لے کر جو آرم فورسز کی ڈیفنس ہے اس کو سمجھنے کی کوشش کریں کیونکہ لوگ اپنی جانوں پر کھیل کے یہ باتیں کر رہے ہیں جو ایک چھوٹی چیز نہیں ہے آپ کا بہت بہت شکریہ آرس تینکیو فور یہ ٹائم انشاءاللہ آپ سے گفت گو اترے گا السلام علیکم اوکے سامین آپ سن رہے تھے پاکستان فرنس ڈاٹ کام کے دارٹرز شو میں ہوں علی خان میرے خال میں اس کے بعد مجھے بھی کنکلوشن کرنے کی ضرورت نہیں it was more an informative show ہم یہ چاہتے ہیں ان شوز کے ذریعے کہ آپ کو تھوڑا سا علم ہو کہ بیک گراؤنڈ میں ہوتا کیا ہے ہمارا جو تنگ ٹانک ہے it's working very hard to get you the results Haris is a very good example ان کی نالج آپ نے دیکھی وہ چیزیں جو یوز ہوئیں جو ٹکنالوجیز یوز ہوئیں کس طرح کیا جاتا ہے اس چیز کو سمجھنا عام لوگوں کے لیے اس لیے اب ضروری ہو گیا ہے پہلے نہیں تھا لیکن اب اس لیے ضروری ہو گیا کیونکہ ہم لوگوں کو ایک مورل سپورٹ دینی ہوتی ہے اپنے ملک اور اپنی قوم کو اور اپنے ملک کے ڈیفینڈرز کو کیونکہ اگر یہ مورل سپورٹ ہم انہیں نہیں دیں گے تو وہ آخر کر کس کے لیے رہے ہیں آپ لوگوں کا بہت بہت شکریہ پاکستان فرس کی شور سنتے رہیے گا انشاءاللہ آپ لوگوں سے پھر گفتگو ہوگی